Blocksburg is a place where people can become rich. Some people work hard for their money, but others are born into it. It's not about how much money you have, it's about how we treat each other. And unfortunately, some people don't see it that way. There was once a man in Blocksburg who treated everyone that was poor like they were trash. He was so mean and nobody liked him. But you can't be bad to people for so long until the universe makes it right. This is the story of how Felix went from riches to rags. Hey, you! Oh, uh, hello! What do you think you're doing? Well, I'm out here trying to fix this stuff over here. These plants are dying. I gotta get them back to how they were. Doesn't my family pay you to do this correctly? Yeah, but the weather changed. Uh, you know, it's a plant. It's not like it's just something that is super easy to do. You gotta bring them back to life sometimes, that's all. I can't believe this. All these plants are just dying, and my family pays you 10 Robux a day to do this. And look at this. This job is awful. Oh, uh, look, I'm sorry. I'll try my, I'll try to do a better job here. I, uh, you know, like I said, the weather conditions kind of change everything, but don't worry. I'll get everything to bounce back, you know? I appreciate everything you've done for me. Ugh. Gosh, you sound so pathetic and poor. You're poor, aren't you? Well, I only get 10 Robux a day, and you only hire me three days a week, so yeah, it's... I don't have a lot of money, but I work really hard, and, uh, you know, I do the best that I can. <laughs> you know those Robux gift cards we give you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I use those to light my fireplace. They're worthless to me. That's how much money I have. Well, that's nice for you, but unfortunately not everybody gets to have money like that. And you see this massive house behind me? Uh, yeah, it's a nice house. Yeah, it's actually not. This is my tiny summer house. My family's building me a mansion out in the woods, and it's not even done yet, so I'm stuck living here. Do you have any idea how hard that is? Uh, yeah, I do. My, uh, my house is probably about the size of this little gazebo here. Very, very small house, but... You know, we get by, it's not a big deal. It's just a place to go to sleep at night. Ugh, being around you just disgusts me. You know what? You're fired. Wait, why? What am I fired for? Come on, please don't do this. I need the money. <laughs> I bet you do, you little poor loser. Listen, you did an awful job. This landscaping looks terrible, and you're being fired now. Now get off my family's property before I call the police. Fine, bye. Noah, is that you standing around? Oh, hey, Felix. Yeah. Sorry, boss. It's just a really, really quiet night here at the club. Well, clearly, there's no one here. Yeah, I know. Did you get all my emails that I've been sending you? I've been trying to get you down here for weeks. <laughs> Like I have time to read poor emails. No, no I haven't. What's going on? Well, the club's been losing money. Nobody's been coming. And part of that is because you haven't been here to help me run the business. I can't make any decisions without you. And I have all these ideas of how we can make this place better. I just need your approval. You just need my approval? Oh, how pathetic. Don't you know how busy I am? Uh, yeah, you're not very busy. Your dad gave you this club. This is all you have to do is just make sure that this doesn't fail. I have to go around and take pictures of all the expensive things I buy, all the selfies I take, and put them on Instagram for all my likes. Do you have any idea how much work that is? Well, I'm glad that you're having a good time with your Instagram, but some of us have to have this job to work. You know, we rely on this paycheck. And when people don't come into the club, it's not good. Ugh, listen, I have so much money that this doesn't matter to me. None of this matters. It's all so boring. Well, why don't you just let me fix it? How am I going to fix it? <laughs> Simple. I'm going to shut the whole thing down. Wait, you're going to shut this whole place down? What about my job? What about everybody's job here? Well, that all seems like it's going to be your problem, not mine. When are you closing it? You can't do this. Come on, we rely on this. 
I've become bored with this little project of mine, and I'm closing the books immediately. So by the end of the night, I want you all gone. I can't believe you're doing this. I can, because I just did. Now, if you excuse me, I have way more important things to do. <laughs> Um, pardon me, what are you doing in my house? Hi, you must be Felix. I'm from the bank. Oh, hello. Are you here to tell me about how much more money I'm getting? No, actually, quite the opposite. I'm here to tell you that you're broke, and that you haven't made payments on this house in months, and the bank's here to take it. <laughs> what a funny joke. Like, really, what a hilarious joke. It's not a joke. Your dad cut you off, you're getting no more money from him, and he hasn't been paying your bills at all. What? That, that, that can't be true. Well, it is true. I wouldn't be down here wasting my time if it wasn't. Listen, I know I have so much money in the bank. I'll, I'll, I'll just buy this house. You can't buy this house. You don't have any money in your bank account. Why do you think we're here? But, but this is impossible. I had millions of dollars in my bank account. Well, you don't anymore. Looks like your dad took it all away from you. What? No! That's right, and I have to ask you to leave. The bank's foreclosing on this house, and we're gonna sell it to somebody who can actually afford it. Now get out of here! Fine, I'll go talk to my dad. Go! Dad, there's a horrible, horrible thing happening. Ha <laughs> ha, what do you want, son? What's so horrible that you'd bother me here at work? Some creepy man that said he was from the bank came to the house and told me that I don't have any more money. Well, it's true, you don't have any money. Well, right, I have your money, but your money was in my account, and now the man says it's not there anymore, and I'm losing the house and I'm not paying my bills. What's going on? That's right, Felix. I'm getting tired of you not learning anything. You're wasting away, not doing anything right. You ruined the business I gave you, and you've learned nothing. I'm taking my money back. From now on, you have to earn everything that you have, just like I did. But, Dad... Don't but dad me. Do you know how hard I had to work to make the money that I have? I came from nothing, and you, you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth, and I'm tired of it. Dad, please. All of this is just too much. I can't handle it. Well, you're going to have to learn how to handle it, because the world isn't going to take care of you. It's up to you to figure out how to take care of yourself. But I need a place to live, and they're taking the house. Can't you please just put some money in my account so I can get a house? No. Go get a job. Find yourself a small, modest house to start, just like I did. Ugh, a small house? I can't live in a small house. You know what? You're a spoiled brat, and I don't want to see you until you change your ways. Get out of my store now! <laughs> I don't know what to do. What, what are you doing stay? here? Um, excuse me, I'm walking here. Well, this is my turf, so get out of here! Wow, I had no idea a smelly homeless could own the sidewalk. Jeez. What did you just say to me? I called you a homeless, and I said that you're smelly. But what are you doing out here, huh? Mr. Fancy Pants? Well, I'm trying to find a place to sleep tonight, if you really need to know. Yes, yeah, so you're homeless too then! You don't get to come down here and start talking like you're some big fancy pants man just because you have a suit on. Well, to be accurate, these are very fancy pants. They're Gucci pants. Gucci doesn't matter to me. All I care about is you getting away from where I have to sleep tonight. That's fine. I don't want to be near a smelly homeless anyways. What'd you say to me? Oh, wow, not only are you smelly and homeless, but you're stupid too, aren't you? You want to see who's stupid? You're stupid now! Oh, 
I can't believe it. That homeless just punched me right in the face. I've never been punched in the face in my life. These streets are so crazy. Hey, Felix, is that you? Um, yes, I'm Felix, but who are you? Really? Felix, it's Noah from the club? Oh, right, right. I know your face, but I don't know your name. Well, it's... what'd you say it was? Noah? It's Noah. Jeez, I can't believe oh, you don't right. remember me. Why are you crying? Listen, there's just been so much going on in my life right now. I, I can't even focus on you, okay? Well, why don't you tell me what's going on? Well, to put it simply, my dad cut me off. All of my money is gone. I've lost my house, all of my clothes, everything. Essentially, I'm homeless. Oh, I see what happened. Felix, don't you understand that you've done this to a bunch of other people? When you closed the club down, you took away everybody's ability to earn income. You put all of us in the same situation as you. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I mean, I was set. I had all the money in the world, and I didn't really care. Yeah, but that's the problem. You never had to work hard for anything. You don't know what it's like for the rest of us. The world isn't the way that you think it is. Clearly not. I'm learning that by the day. Yeah. Man, I can't believe you're homeless. Look, I know that we're not necessarily friends or anything, but... I have a house. It's not really much, but you're welcome to come and stay there until you get up on your feet. Well, actually, that sounds really great. It sounds a whole lot better than sleeping on the ground next to some trash or a homeless person. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's go get you some food or something, and then maybe we can talk a little bit more in my house. Okay, good. Well, Felix, I hope that you like burgers. All we had left in the fridge was ground beef. Well, is it grass-fed organic beef? Uh, no, we can't really afford that. After you fired me, I had to take a job at the janitor place, and they pay me like five Robux an hour less. Oh, well, this will be fine. At least I'm eating something. I really actually appreciate this. Yeah, no problem. So your dad finally cut you off, huh? Yeah, and I don't know why. I mean, what does he want from me, you know? Well, I think that he just wants you to realize all the stuff that you've been doing. You really hurt me when you fired me, and I'm not the only person that you did that to. I think you need to understand that there's consequences for your actions. Well, I think this is the first time I'm learning about consequences. I, I've never had them before. I'm... I'm so sorry. I really... I'm not a bad person. I, I just didn't know what I was doing. It's okay, Felix. You don't have to cry. I mean, I understand. You were brought up differently. You look at the world in a different way than a lot of other people do. But you have to understand that other people come from a different place too. And you can't treat people bad because they weren't brought up the way you were. You know what, Noah? You're right. I don't want to be this person that people hate. I want to be someone that people like and... I want to make people feel good and help them and do nice things for people. Well, that's a really good thing. I think you're off to a great start. Well, I think I'm going to need a whole lot of help. So what do you say? You think you'll help me? Yeah, absolutely. I think the first thing that we need to do is get you a job. Yeah, I think you're right. Being poor and having absolutely no money is no excuse. I better start working. But before we get started, let's talk. I want to hear about what you were going to tell me before, about how you wanted to make my business better. Okay, that sounds great. Noah, what are you doing here? Your shift doesn't start for another, what, two, three hours. What are you doing here? Oh, hey Chip, I just wanted to introduce you to a friend of mine, Felix. Felix needs a job really bad. It <laughs> doesn't look like this guy needs a job. Look at him all fancy pants and stuff. <laughs> well, it's true, sir. I'm technically homeless, and I have no money, and I really need a job, and I was wondering if you could help. Listen, you look like the kind of guy that's uh, never cleaned anything in his life. Well, I guess I haven't. No, I've always had maids and things like that. <laughs> well, listen here, kid. This isn't the maid service, all right? This is the janitor service. We get our elbows deep in trash and we clean it, understand? Um, 
Yes, I I understand. This isn't a job where you can just sit in your suit and twiddle your thumbs and text on your phone and post your Instagram pictures, all right? A all right, all right. Noah, jeez, this guy's rough. Yeah, I told you. But this is the way it is in the regular world. Nobody's gonna hold your hand. You're gonna have to experience the same things that you put everybody else through. <sighs> well, I guess you're right. Time for me to buckle up and get the show on the road. Well, sir, I'd really like a job if you'd give me one. Yeah, 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 you have no idea. No one really wants to work this job. You know, I don't pay a whole lot and the, the job's gross. So, uh, yeah, you can start. You can start, uh, start right now, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Felix decided to take the opportunity to change himself. He worked really hard, even though it made him sad that he lost his nightclub. And over a few months, things got better for Felix. He finally regained the confidence to talk to his dad. Oh, hi, Dad. Felix, what are you doing here? Well, I, I came by to show you my progress. And what progress is that? And who is this? Well, Dad, this is my friend. This is Noah. Hi, sir. It's very nice to meet you. I actually technically worked for you a while back. I helped manage the nightclub. Oh yes, Noah, Noah, that's correct. Yeah, you did a great job until Felix messed it all up. Well, Dad, the thing is, you see, Noah's actually been helping me. He's been grounding me and bringing me back to Earth and really has kind of snapped me out of it. It's true, sir. Felix has worked really hard. I got him a job as a janitor. A janitor? Come on. No way you're a janitor. Yeah, it's true. He is. He's been cleaning up all over Bloxburg. Just saved up enough money to buy a house. Is this true, Felix? Yes, it's true. Everything Noah's saying is true. I've been working really hard and saving all of my money, and now I'll be able to buy a house and do things on my own. That's good. I'm very proud of you, Felix. Is there anything else? Well, Dad, the thing is, I brought Noah by for a reason. I, um, I wanted him to talk to you. He had a really, really good idea about the nightclub, and I think it'd be a good idea if you two worked together. Oh yeah? What was this nightclub idea? Well, I think you guys needed to spend a little bit more time on the customer experience. It's not just about money, it's about how you make people feel. Huh. I guess I never thought of it that way. But if people are happy where they are, they're gonna spend more money. You're a smart person. I think I'll open up the nightclub again and let you run it. Unless Felix has any objections to that. No, not at all. Noah really deserves to get his job back, Dad. He's a really good guy and he works really hard. Wow, I really appreciate this opportunity. No problem. Don't let me down. If this goes well, maybe we can open up some other businesses together. Good job, Felix. Great job, Noah. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see some more awesome videos from me, make sure you click here and here. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that bell, subscribe, turn notifications on so that you never miss a video that I post. Thanks again for watching.